I'm so glad you could make it. Thank you for joining me tonight. We have a meditation on sensuality tonight, and I'm really excited about it. First off, I want to apologize for the little delay in me getting um, to the session on time. I, just to give you a little backstory, for those of you that don't know, I have an 89-year-old mother who I go help take care of every six weeks. I drive up to the Bay Area and um, stay for about two weeks and help my sisters take care of her. So I just got back last night and I've been a little off today. <laughs> like everything's been a little behind. And what I realized is that I'm not really giving myself enough transition time. And so um, that's something that I'm learning right now about myself. So anyway, tonight we're going to do our meditation. And I want to talk to you a little bit about sensuality and sort of my picture of sensuality and how I want to work this meditation. Um, to me, your sensuality has to do with your experiencing and um, expressing your senses. And so our meditation tonight is going to be cleaning out each of the five senses and then taking a look at our, our actual vibration of sensuality, grounding that, and then running that in our crown chakra so that we can get that flow of that vibration of sensuality through the whole body. So that's, that's the plan for tonight. And um, we're going to also incorporate that female grounding. So let's go ahead and get started. And if you want to go ahead and close your eyes and start to find your space, bring your point of attention right behind your eyes in the center of your head. And you want to plant your feet flat on the ground, hips distance apart. We're going to start with a brand new grounding cord. So whatever grounding cord you have on right now, go ahead and let it go. Let it drop right into the center of the planet. And then find the base of your spine and start to create that line of energy, the grounding cord that's going to connect you from the base of your spine, straight down through your chair, through the ground, all the way to the very center of the planet, and then anchor that in. And once that grounding cord is anchored into the center of the planet, you can just turn it on full release and you can start to relax and let the energies that have collected in your aura during the day start to release. One of the first things I like to do is pull the edge of the aura in close to the body. So go ahead and locate the edge of your aura and imagine it as a gold bubble coming in close around your body so that the edge of that bubble is really only about two or three feet from your skin. And you can take the bottom edges of that bubble and tuck them into your grounding cord underneath your feet. Now, if you have a skinny little grounding cord, that's not going to work. So this is where you get to see how um, big you must create your grounding cord in order for it to carry all of the energy that you're ready to release tonight. And now that you have your main grounding cord secured, we're going to add our female grounding to that which is a tube underneath your uterus that drops right into your main grounding cord. So go ahead and create that big tube underneath your uterus and drop it into the grounding cord. And then we're going to ground a couple of things into that uterine grounding. We're going to put a grounding cord on each of the ovaries and ground them into the uterine grounding cord. And on the back side, right where your butt dimples are, is the top of your sciatic nerves. And we're going to take a grounding cord 
for both the right sciatic nerve and the left sciatic nerve and drop those into the uterine grounding. And you can take a great big breath in and exhale and let all the energy from your female parts start to release. Let everything that those ovaries have collected in the last week or so start to release down your grounding cord. Your ovaries are like sponges, and that's why we want to ground them to constantly clear the foreign energy off of them. And then now we're going to ground our female creative energy, and that, of course, gets generated out in front of your abdomen. So your female creative energy ultimately want uh, you'll want to ground it like a basketball out in front of your abdomen. So wherever that female energy is getting generated, just put another tube, like a grounding cord tube, out in front of your abdomen and start to ground all of that creative energy. And the main things I want you to pay attention to when grounding that female creative energy, the number one energy to always look for is problems. Other people's problems trying to program you to solve them for, for them. If you're a healer, you might find some of that problem energy thick and heavy, and it might be worth coming back and doing another meditation to really work that energy out. Good, good job. Now, if you want, now that your creative energy is getting grounded, you can take your hands and kind of roll it up the front part of your body and move that cleaned out creative energy up the front part of your aura. Now your sensuality, what we're going to be working on today, again, as I was saying earlier, it really is about your ability to have and express your senses. So we have five main senses. Of course, now they're talking about a sixth sense, but the sixth sense that I'm reading about has to do with your ability to know where you are in space. That's what they're calling the sixth sense now. Um, but we're going to concentrate on the five senses, taste, sight, smell, touch, and hearing. And because we're doing a shorter meditation, I'm going to give you about three to four minutes per each sense. And what we're going to do is just ground each of those senses and give them a cleaning and a healing, and then clear your sensuality vibration. So let's go ahead and start with a simple a symbol of a bubble out in front of you on your white screen. You can put a grounding cord underneath this bubble and postulate that this bubble represents the energy of your taste, your ability to taste. And take a look at the energy right now as it is, put a grounding cord on it and start to ground it.
And I'll just call out a few things for you to look for and to ground. The first thing that comes up that I think about with taste that might affect your taste sense is allergies. You might say hello to any allergies, food allergy energy that you have in that sense. And of course, allergies would be the result of built up energy in that sense. You might have energy in your sense of taste going back to being a baby when you were first introduced to food. You might want to ground that out. And you might say hello to any healing agreements in your taste sense, where you might have agreements with family members to eat certain foods, or maybe even to stay away from certain foods. So you want to say hello to any of that programming and clear that. And you might want to say hello to your actual taste buds in this bubble that you're using for a symbol for your sense of taste and um, say hello to your taste buds and give them a healing. Wonderful. All right. Go ahead and create a giant gold sun above your bubble for your taste sense. We're going to fill that in. You can be collecting up all your information on taste as you fill that gold bubble. And when that sun is full, go ahead and bring it into the bubble. And then now we're going to blow that bubble up and disperse all of the energy from it. Create a gold sun and bring a gold sun into your own head and fill yourself up with gold. And then go ahead and create a second bubble. We're going to take a look at your sense of sight. Put a grounding cord on that bubble and start to ground the energy of your sense of sight. And I would start by saying hello to any energy that impedes your clarity in your sense of sight. A lot of time pain builds up in the eyes and makes it hard to have that clarity. So I would also say hello to any pain levels that you have in your eyes and start to ground those. There can actually be pain in what you witness through your vision. So say hello to that and ground that out.
You might also say hello to your ability to express what you see and give that a healing in this bubble. Because remember, your sensuality isn't just about your senses, it's about being able to express them as well as experience them. And then I would also say hello to any energy in your sense of sight that doesn't allow you to be neutral to what you see. So clear any energy that um, gets between you and your neutrality to what you see. Great. All right. We're going to create a gold sun above your bubble for your sight. Collect up your information on sight and your sense of sight. Bring that into a big gold sun. And bring that sun into the bubble for your sight and fill it up with gold. And now we're going to blow up that bubble and disperse all of that energy. So go ahead and explode that bubble. Create a gold sun above your own head. Bring that gold sun in. Create a brand new bubble out in front of you. And we're going to ground our sense of touch. So your ability to feel energy. Ground that space. And um, I notice as I watch all of you work on this, there's a lot of built up energy um, in that space of, of touch. So um, just start to ground it. And I think the first thing that you might want to look at is the discomfort level in the body and say hello to any discomfort in your sense of touch and start to ground that out. That discomfort just comes from foreign energy building up. You might want to say hello in this bubble to your nervous system and how that plays into your sense of touch and give that a grounding. And when I say that, I'm really just mean postulate as you are grounding that bubble for your sense of touch, postulate the idea that um, you're also grounding your nervous system as you're doing that. I would also say hello to all the scrapes and bruises and aches and pains when you're a child, because that kind of sets the tone as to how you're going to handle the um, energy in that touch sensation. So you might want to postulate helping to ground some of the 
um, I would call it again, discomfort from um, learning about your body when you're younger. The cuts, the scrapes, the bruises. And then I would also say hello to your sensitivity to your sense of touch and ground any energy off of that. Okay, go ahead and create a gold sun above your bubble for your sense of touch. Collect up your information on touch. Fill that gold sun up with that information. And when that gold sun is full, go ahead and bring it right into that bubble. And you can blow up that bubble. We have two more senses. And the next one is your sense of smell. So go ahead and create a bubble out on your screen for your sense of smell and ground it. You might say hello to the energy of um, odors that um, that you don't care for, that are hard for you to smell and start grounding the energy, whatever the energy is that makes odors be undesirable to you. And as I watch you all do that, what comes up is a lot of past lives for all of you in which you have um, sensitivities to foods from past lives. So say hello to that energy and start to ground out any past life energy affecting your palate or your ability to, um, to um, smell. And again, in this sense, you also want to ground out any pain that you may have, again, from odors that you dislike, odors that um, have lingered with you. Um, one of the other things I'm noticing as you work on your sense of smell is how much the telepathic channels 
have to do with that. And you might want to postulate as you're working on your bubble that you are also grounding your telepathic channels because they actually have an impact on your um, whole sinus area and your ability to breathe and smell. You might want to say hello to the fragrances and odors that you do like. Just give them a hello. And you might take a moment um, this just came up for me to look at your sensitivity to smell. If your sensitivity is too high, you might want to turn that down. Um, sometimes um, your sensitivity to smell can be so strong that it um, can throw you off a little. So notice for yourself if that sense is too high, turn it down. If it's a little low, imagine a dial and turn it up a little and open up your ability to to sense smell. Go ahead and create a gold sun above your bubble for smell. Call back your information on your sense of smell and fill that bubble in. And then go ahead and blow it up. We're going to do our last sense, which is your sense of hearing. So create that bubble and ground it. And I would imagine some of the first energies you're going to find in your sense of hearing is a lot of other people's voices. <laughs> so say hello to everyone else's energy in your sense of hearing and start to ground them out. This is another sense that is closely tied with your telepathic channels so you can postulate that you're grounding them as well while you work on this bubble. And um, another thing that you might want to do is ground the noise of beings out of your sense of hearing. A lot of times we're, uh, if you've ever hear like what sounds like white noise in your head, that's the energy of beings. And that can affect your hearing, um, your outside hearing. So say hello to the energy of beings and ground them out of your hearing ability. Uh, I would also say hello to your mothers in your hearing space. Um, the mother's energy is very prevalent in that space, and that might affect the clarity of how you hear things. So say hello to moms and move them out.
I would also say hello to the energy of hearing only what you want to hear. If any of you have that energy, go ahead and say hello to it. Start to ground that out so you can have an accurate read on what you hear. And I would also say hello to any energy that you might have that says, I don't want to hear that and clear that energy. Good job. Go ahead and create a gold sun above your bubble for hearing. Collect all your information on hearing, bring that into the bubble, and then blow that bubble up. Now we get to look at our sensuality energy. Yay! <laughs> so that sensuality energy we're going to also put in a bubble. And I want you to create that bubble and ground it and let the vibration of your sensuality and all that that means to you go into that bubble. Take a look at the colors, what's going on in that bubble and ground it. And one of the first things I would have you do is look for yourself at how much permission do you have to enjoy your sensuality. And if there's not very much permission in there, I would go ahead and ground that. I would also ground out any control energy that says, no, you can't have this. No, you shouldn't run this. And I, I really would look for male control energy um, as well. You may find um, female control energy in there, but um, also look for male control energy. And I would say hello to your sensuality as being a present time vibration and look to see how much of that vibration you can have in present time and clear any energy that doesn't allow you to express your sensuality in present time. And as you can start to see the beautiful colors of your sensual vibration, what we're going to do is take those colors, or if there's one color or many colors, I want you to move that color vibration from that circle that you're looking at right now into your crown chakra. And you're going to move that energy in a clockwise motion on top of your head in your crown chakra. And we're going to let that vibration start to flow down the back channels so that it can move into each of your chakras. Let that sensuality roll around in your crown chakra and let it flow down your back channels.
That energy can go all the way down to your first chakra and then you can let it go up your front channels. And as you let that vibration flow through your energy channels, why don't you give yourself 100% permission to be able to have and utilize your sensuality whenever you want. And if you want, you can take a minute to imagine that sensual vibration flowing all through your body, under your skin, throughout every part of your body. And what I'm noticing as you do that is when you get in touch with your senses and that space gets cleaned out, it automatically is bringing you to a place of greater affinity, self-affinity. So I just got to watch that happen with all of you. That was really, really cool. So there's a connection there to cleaning out your senses and having your, your self-love, your self-affinity. All right, go ahead and create a great big gold sun and start collecting up your energy. And bring that gold sun in through the top of your head, fill up all of your aura. And when you're ready, you can come on out of trance I'm pulling up my calendar. You know, I have a quick little um, comment on the meditation that we just did. When we were working on the hearing, I wanted to pass something on to all of you. Some of you know my story and some of you don't. So I thought I'd pass this on to you. When I was young, the first psychic ability I had was clairaudience. And that's the ability to hear energy. Well, my, my hearing was so sensitive that as a child, it, it actually caused me pain because I could hear everything. So as a kid, I started saying to myself, well, I don't want to hear that anymore. I don't want to hear that. So guess what happened? When I hit my 20s, I started going deaf. And by telling myself I don't want to hear that, I actually created a tumor over my eardrum. And it was about... 20 years before um, I got a correct diagnosis on it and actually got it healed and so that I can hear fully again. But I wanted to pass that on to you. You have to be careful what you say to yourself and what you think because those thoughts become very real, especially on an energy level. So I thought I'd share that with you just um, um, to let you know to be very careful about what you say to yourself. Now, I do have a quick announcement, if you'll just give me one minute here. Um, there are two things coming up next week. In the sanctuary, if you're a member of, of the Soul Support, we have a healing on Golden Suns. Yay! <laughs> coming up, so we're going to clean out that tool. And then next Thursday, of course, is our big erasure event. And every one of you are invited. It's free. All you have to do is register. There's going to be a new mailing coming out um next week so that it will have the register button on it 
All you have to do is register and show up and you're going to get a great healing. The healers from the Transmedium Healing Clinic are going to show up and they're going to be doing this technique called erasing to clear all low level beings out of everybody's space in the sanctuary. So this is a wonderful, wonderful event. And it's only about a half an hour. They'll do the erasing and I read the healing while it's happening. So you know exactly what energies are being worked on and how it's affecting you. So I invite all of you, please, by all means, come and you can invite your friends. They just have to register their names so that we know who's in the sanctuary that night. So that's what's coming up. I'll have my November announcements out um, on the 1st of November. Next, not next Monday, but the following Monday, we'll send that out. And um, I think that's all the announcements I have right now. I am still doing my giving and receiving special for the month. So if you haven't signed up for that and you're interested, give me a call and we'll get you scheduled before the end of the month. Thank you so much for joining me for tonight's meditation. That was really fun. I look forward to seeing you Monday and I also look forward to seeing you next Thursday night. So I've got my eyes on you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.